Hey guys, in today's video, what I want to talk about is like owning a facility in a gym versus being online. Now, I get this question all the time, and people are like, why did you sell the gym? What did you move online? Um, and there's a number of reasons why, but a lot of people are asking me this question because they're thinking about owning a, opening up a facility, opening up a gym versus creating something online. Now, the number one, the number one reason most people move on to a facility or want to create a gym and own a gym is ego driven. And it's not really to suit their goals, needs, and lifestyle that they're actually wanting to achieve. There's a lot of work on the back end of it, and it's pretty constant. But I understand it, and I understand why. But the first thing we want to think about, or you need to ask yourself, if that's what you want to do, is like, what's the main reason you want to own a facility? And if it's to help more people, then online still wins that game. And if it's to create leverage in time, then online can beat that game too. But the negative behind it is just the thing called a trough. It's like how much it goes into prior to actually doing well. And actually, I'll just show you on the whiteboard here, so if I can bring that along. So, <clears throat> hopefully you can hear me all right, but if we draw a line here, which indicates time, this is where we are now, this is where we're gonna go, and we have a line here, which indicates dollars. So if we start an online business, and an online fitness business, we've probably got a concept, we've probably got a niche, and we probably have some idea of how to train these people. So all we're gonna learn is like how to move this and leverage some things to make it work well online. So as soon as we start getting clients, we can essentially start making money. And this model's the same with like, if we're moving into a, to a gym as a personal trainer, we can start making money almost immediately. Most other industries don't have the luxury of that. So we can start making money effective immediately. And the overheads to do that is extremely low. However, if we open up a facility, what we get is what I mentioned before, the trough. Now this trough, there's a big chunk of change in capital that it costs us to open the facility, to pay for leases, to pay for equipment, to do um, marketing, to hire people, whatever it is, before we can even get to here. Now this is the point where most people say, hey, yeah, we're breaking even, or we are making some money. However, they're not because of the point of how much they've invested financially in time up to this point. So even if they accelerate through past what you could do on online, which is not necessarily the case, but even if you were able to, you've still got this massive trough of a few hundred thousand dollars where you've invested into this to actually take this up. So hopefully that makes sense. It's in like money effective immediately, helping more people effective immediately is a lot easier going from that online model. Now, the reason I bring that up is purely because every single day, that is what comes up. People often say, oh, why did you sell the gym? Oh, what do you like better about online? First, it's like time, and I don't mean less time. It takes pretty much the same amount of time for me um, in a day. I work about the same amount of hours. But the difference is like their constant, instant response to time. Like if I don't want to do something on my online business right now, I don't have to. But if something's going wrong in the facility, that has to be addressed effective immediately because that will hinder the whole business massively. I hope that makes sense. So um, to just reiterate what we've gone over in this, like the, the whole point of the video is to go answer the questions like what, what's the difference between a facility and an online program, product, business in the health and wellness. It's like the big difference is anyone can actually start the online coaching training business not anyone has the ability the capital and the skills to build out that on that that offline facility so think about it is it the ego that makes you want this one here or is it just impact that you want to do so you think this is the right model because impact financial reward can definitely be done with this online model and i hope that makes sense